Hey everyone, it's me Saga with another pointless video. IPS mods are nothing new. In fact, um, the trend is probably dead by now. I did order these th the stuff around March, but I didn't get the shell um, from AliExpress like I was planning on, so I had to order that from from uh, from Funny Playing because apparently Funny Playing now does their own shells. Um, now, it's not super form-fitting, but it does the job, and that's the important part. I base this off the American SNES because the Famicom... Famicom buttons just don't really appeal to me. I don't like... I just don't like it that much. Um, I, I like the sleek, more mute design of the Famicom. Or, sorry, the SNES. You even got the power button as a... Pink, as a Purple and I do black stripes because I just thought that looked cool. And then uh, I use the OEM shoulder buttons because the SNES controller is OEM or is gray as well. Um, so yeah, I really am happy with how it, how it turned out. And let's go ahead and turn it on. Turn off the lights. Just gonna test out the ghosting a little bit. I know that the camera doesn't really do it much justice. And, um, to be fair, I actually did a lot of testing when I first bought this screen. Um, I would say the it's about the equivalent of ghosting in regards of the 2D or the new 2DS XL. Oh, shoot. Oh, okay. That worked. Oh, that didn't work. <laughs> okay. Try again. Oh. <laughs> You're telling a uh, speedrunner. I mean, I am doing the slow strat after all. The fast strat would actually jump over. Jump, jump up to this top of the hill. And I don't really trust myself with these shy guys. I already messed up a lot. I feel like doing that again, though. But, um, you know, I don't really plan on doing any fast play, so that's okay with me. But as you can see, the screen with the, uh, the funny playing shell has these little has already these little knobs so that way you can align the screen properly and as you can see here it's pretty much form fit. So let's just do that one more time, just for kicks. And there we go. That's a little bit better. <laughs> not the greatest speedrunner. In fact, I'm not a speedrunner at all. Can't speedrun to save my life. But, um, yeah. So, overall, it's really, really good. Um, not, many to, not much to complain about other than the installation. But, you know, when you're making a mod, of course, the installation would be the most difficult part. I was just lucky I had two Game Boy Advances because I stripped a couple screws and I had to really find a way to managle them out. So, um, even though that this is a really decent, even though I really like the way that this came out, this turned out, sorry, um, I will say that I do prefer the SP a lot more than this. 
Some problems I do have a little bit is that the D-pad's a bit stiff. But I'm assuming that'll loosen over time. I mean, just the way you're looking at it, you kind of see that it's actually a bit crooked. So, that's something that bothers me. The A button here, you can see the injection molding a little bit right there, out near the top. But beyond that, this is a pretty good shell. I mean, this actually feels a lot better than the original, because the original feels like super plastic. This actually feels really nice. It's textured, so you got that grip, even with the sweaty hands. Now, something I have noticed is that this does feel really, this does get pretty hot, and I did notice a slight smell. That could just be, um, that could just be because it's yearning more power. Uh, it's a very, very faint smell. You probably won't notice it unless you're looking for it, but uh, it's just something that I happen to notice. But overall, really, really good. I like the crisp screen. Um, I don't really plan on doing that many action games because I am into RPGs anyway. Um, so yeah, this is overall I'm very happy with it. So that's it, I'll be seeing ya.